Hi guys, welcome to Self Love Saturday. Y'all, I just wanted to come and speak to you right quick. Um, for this episode for Self Love, Self Love Saturday guys, um, my son bought some items and I thought that I would just show them. This is mainly for men. Uh, and, and some of you women can purchase some of these things for men if you like in your life or your, you know, um, significant other. So, but he did purchase some body wash and some uh, deodorant. So, he didn't open them. And I was like, okay, well, if you don't open them, <laughs> I'm definitely going to use it for self-love Saturday. So, guys, I hope this helped you. I just, you know, wanted to come and address that. Also, I want to address something, guys. I just found out there's another channel that's kind of trying to start a self-love segment. Um, well, okay, so let me just kind of let you know about self-love, what I think it is. It's actually taking the time to care for yourself, and it is personal, and it's individualized. So you will never hear me come up here and say, what I do is better than someone else. Because we're all different, and that's how the Lord made us. Um, so we also, for self-love, we want to make sure our food, that we have our basic need met. Food, clothing, shelter, um, water, uh, love, um, just taking care of ourselves, uh, our families. So that is what self-love is to me. I'm not going to sit here and tell someone if they get their nails done that that's not self-love. It is a form of self-love, guys. No matter what someone tells you, you may not be the person that can get your nails done a lot. Um, so when you do get them done, I know when I get mine done, I just feel extra pretty. I feel very beautiful. And that is a form of my self-love. It may not be that same, the same for someone else. When I get my hair done, I feel the same way. Um, so... Really, I want to just mention, you guys, um, please start with, you know, taking care of your immediate needs for self-love. Um, so, if you have um, issues um, that you need to address, um, any biological issues, you know, you need to go to the doctor. That's a form of self-love. Um, psychologically, your cognitive abilities, um, you can do, um, like we did, we wrote down you can just do all kinds of stuff. And the, she, the other channel did mention reading a book, which I was going to get to that as well. But um, that's not the only form of self-love, taking a bubble bath and all that. Um, that's not the only form of self-love. It's personalized, guys. And it's what you think self-love is in your life and for your family. Because you, you want to bring your family along. Sure, we want to all, um, you know, get out, get something we want and need out of this. But just keep that in mind. Um, so so self-love can be um, just different, uh, different, um, you know, issues or things that you want to address. You, you can uh, do physical uh, self-love activities like exercising, your emotional, mental. Uh, that's why we was doing puzzles. Um, it's, it's, it's the low version of you know, just trying to calm down and, um, you know, do things that we love to do. And that does include reading a book, uh, writing, writing in your journal, things like that, reading a book, um, fi financial, spiritually, like for me, spiritually, I like to read the Bible. And for me, that is a form of self-love. It makes me feel good to read the Bible and, uh, social, you may have things you want to do socially. So physically, emotionally, spiritually, uh, financially, biologically, psychologically, um, and that includes your cognitive abilities socially. Uh, it's whatever you want to do, guys. So don't let someone deter you from things you are doing. Um, you know, we are not, you know, listening to folks that try to get you not to take care of your physical appearance. Um, that it starts there as well, you know. And I can't tell someone else to take care of their cell if I'm looking toe up from the flow up. So just make sure you're taking care of your basic needs and you're taking care of your physical needs first. You know, a form of self-love, going to the dentist, you know, doing hygiene, buying hygiene products, uh, making sure you're taking care of your body. 
and um, doing your physical needs. And then you can move on to, you know, make sure you're gardening. You, you, you're reading that book you want to do. Um, get your finances, if that is an issue for you, and you feel like, you know, you're not doing right by that. You can do the cash stuffing like we're doing. Uh, it's various things, guys. It's so many topics for self-love that I, it just bothers me when I hear someone say, well, this is not self-love unless you get it, do it sometimes. It's, that's not your opinion to say. Um, so that's just your opinion. So, and, and that's all it is, you know. And uh, so you should remember that we all are individualized. So you do to fit you, you and your family because you are loving yourself. And you can't love yourself if you don't take care of yourself. And that's just not one form of taking a bath or uh, reading a book. You know, it's not just mental. It's not just cognitive. Um, so you have to do a whole picture of yourself, whole full of wellness. And that includes the whole circle. Okay, not just a, one form. But guys, have a great day. And I think, uh, thank you for joining me on Self Love Saturday. And keep that in mind, guys. And you all have a blessed and safe day. Thank you. Bye.